is so complicated, is estimating my Jira ticket. Hello friends and welcome back. In last week's day in the life, you saw me working with Storybook. This week, I am implementing those components I created into a front-end application. This means there are a lot of product meetings this week and continued collaboration with the UX designer. Anytime I come up with project ideas, they are usually business ideas. And I think that's because ultimately I would like to start my own company. I've had this idea for a while. I haven't actually started coding it. Yesterday, I made the decision that I will do this project. I've read before that to really stick with a project, you need to be obsessed with it. So I don't know if that's a good measurement of if this is actually a good idea or not. I have no other way to measure it. It's not like I have users or something. Yet. Given that it is a fresh idea, I don't want to give too much away. You could build the project yourself. And I do think it is a good business idea. I remember one time I was eating lunch. There were two guys that work at Spotify sitting next to me and they were both engineers. And the one engineer was telling his colleague his project that he's been working on. And he outlined how it works and the tech stack he's using basically his entire project. I just remember sitting there thinking, you have no idea that I'm also a software engineer and that I could go home right now and start coding your project. I also know someone, he had an idea. He shared that idea with someone he thought he could trust. And that idea is no longer an idea, it's a company. For that reason, I want to share some of it, but I don't want to share too much because I don't want someone to take my idea and turn it into a company because who knows, maybe my idea I have will be company worthy. And it would not be the first time when I was graduating from the boot camp that I attended to become a developer. We had to come up with a problem and a solution for this problem. I had this idea, tradesperson, so people who do like electrical or plumbing, things like that, they could advertise their services in their local community and they could get additional work outside of their full-time job. I always thought that was a good idea and that had been in my idea list for a while. I think it was like six months ago, I saw that a company had raised, I think it was 3 million euro for their company, which was doing exactly what I had thought of, uh, making a marketplace for tradespersons. You should not give your ideas away. So now I'm going to go grab some lunch. So let's go. Something that I feel like is so simple yet so complicated <laughs> is estimating my Jira tickets. So I've just created two Jira tickets and I need to add story points to both of them. And I'm just like, I don't know. It takes as long as it takes. <laughs> like, I, don't know. I usually just end up putting three days. And then if Scrum Master asks me, do I really think it's going to take three days? I say no. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Is it hard for you? Maybe it's just me. I... I don't know, maybe I just overthink this. It is now Tuesday morning, so I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup because Tuesday is my in-office day. So I'm only required to work in the office one day a week. The rest of the days I work from home, which is quite nice. The mute to go into the office is actually quite long. It takes me an hour and a half to travel to the office. Finish getting ready, then I have to take the bus. Well, I have to walk to the bus, take the bus to the metro, take the metro to Central Station. And then from Central Station, I take the regional train 20 minutes to a city called Sotalia. And then from there, I walk another like 15-ish minutes into the office. So I'm not allowed to film in the office. So that's why I will not be sharing any of what the office looks like. I guess I could film the outside, but they make it very clear not to record anything. I will leave today probably around like 3.30. That's usually when I leave because the trains only come at the end of each hour. So if I stay until say like five, then I'm actually not leaving until closer to six. That means I will not get home until 7.30. Oh, I always try to leave around 3.30 because when I leave at 3.30, it's actually leaving more at like four and then I get home at 5.30.
Good morning. Today is Wednesday and the sun is out. I'm halfway dressed. I don't know. I have a sweater on and my pajama bottoms on. I don't know what I'm doing this morning. Being that it is Wednesday, I don't have any meetings today because us engineers thought we had too many meetings. So we convinced management to let us have a no meeting Wednesday. For today, this morning, I'm going to spend my one hour code block working on the project that I discussed on Monday. So I'm just going to try to get the initial project set up, push to GitHub, also look into Supabase. I was playing around with it a little bit, but I want to create a table and try to insert and delete from it. So yeah, that's the goal this morning. I am, of course, going to also work out at the gym today. Yesterday, I did shoulders and abs on my way home from work. Today, I think I will do back and bicep. It is now much later in the day. It is 3.39 and I've had a super productive day because I didn't have any meetings. But now I'm getting quite tired because the sun went down about 30 minutes ago. So I'm going to make some tea and have a little break. Okay, I am now home from the gym. I had a really good exercise. The gym was really packed. I always want to film, but I'm like way too self-conscious. And also I want to like respect people's privacy. Like I wouldn't want to be filmed in the gym. Now that I'm home, I'm going to edit a video I filmed the other day and possibly work on my project, but I'm quite tired and it's like super dangerous to code when you're tired because you don't remember anything you did. Hello. Thanks so much for the presentation. Have a good day. So I just finished listening in on what my team calls a tech talk. So every Thursday you can sign up if you want to basically share something you've been working on, like if you work with research or you went to a conference. This colleague signed up because they wanted to discuss this conference that they had went to in Germany. I always like listening in on those topics because you kind of learn what your colleagues are working on and, and yeah, just like learn new things. But I was actually working a bit while I was listening in. So I'm going to quickly eat lunch because during my lunch break I want to go to the grocery store. We are going to Budapest for the holidays and we have this person that's going to watch our cats. We met her through Rover. Yeah, so I want to get some snacks for her because when she watches the cats, I want her to feel like comfortable and enjoy taking care of my cats while we are away. So that is what I'm going to go do now. It's the next day. It's Friday. So happy Friday, everyone. I am like, meh. <laughs> I just don't feel very motivated at all. I think it's the weather. I've been writing into end tests, so I need to continue doing that. I just don't really enjoy writing tests. I don't think anybody enjoys writing tests, but I guess out of all the tests that you could write, I do prefer end to end tests because you have frameworks like Playwright that really help you visualize and do some of the work for you. I'm just not very motivated to do it. So I'm sitting here drinking tea and watching Netflix for a little bit, but I really need to continue because I, I started early this morning because I wanted to finish kind of early since it is Friday. And today I'm going to the gym. Of course, even on the days where I feel meh, I still make myself go to the gym because I always end up feeling a little bit better. I think today is chest and tricep. And then I was thinking it would be fun to bake cookies for the weekend. I think that would be nice. I will include a picture of the recipe that I'm trying to do. It is from a YouTuber in Australia. Her name is Brookie. You may have seen her. She released her chocolate chip cookie recipe. And so I've tried to bake these twice now. So this is my third attempt. 